What up peeps, it's your boy Hecka Steve and welcome back to the channel and today I've got another Pokemon card unboxing. We got a Paulian Fates Charizard tin. Now I went to a card shop that I don't typically go to on the regular. And I saw this on the shelf and I said, well, you know, it's been a while since Paul Dean Fates came out. I'm kind of surprised that that's still there. So I asked him how much the Charizard 10 was. And he said, technically it's 25, but we make you buy the pack of three because everybody always wants the Charizard 10. So that's their way of keeping themselves from getting stuck with these. Now, Paul Dean Fates is a fantastic card set focuses mostly on shiny Pokemon. And I have the two big pulls from this set. I have the Charizard and I have the Mew. I actually pulled the Charizard twice, which is kind of crazy because the odds of doing that is so significantly low. Um, but I ended up selling the second one to a friend for bro price and um, using the money from that to buy the Mew that I wanted. So. It would be really cool to try and pull that Charizard or Mew card again. <laughs> and then I could, you know, sell it for bro price and then try and get some cards that I'm missing from the Twilight Masquerade set. Cause I still have about 18 of those to get. But I figured today we could take a look at these tens. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video and not everybody's excited about Pokemon cards, but this is what I feel like doing today. So we've got the Iron Treads EX shiny here. I think it looks fantastic as a shiny. Love this set. And we get four, five booster packs. And that's pretty much it for this tin. Yeah, so you made me buy three and you know, normally, you know, I'm not really down to spend that much but because i love this set so much and it's so hard to find them in the wild i was like screw it let's get into it and so i bought it also bought one of those huge 5,000 card holder um cardboard boxes too now there is a full art mew card in this set that i would love to pull I think we may have something in this pack, actually. We got a shiny flittle here. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Atticus and Mabastiff. You know, some of the artwork from the set, man, it's just like the Charmeleon, even the Charmander there. Some cute stuff, bruh. Chonk. Look at that tongue on the Gengar there. Oh, we got a full art Pidgeot EX shiny. That's awesome. I think I may already have this one. I'll have to double check. That's the problem with buying a lot of cards is you eventually have to question whether or not you've just seen the card a whole bunch online or in other people's videos, or do you actually have it? So I will have to check for that. Pidgeot, of course, doesn't get as much love as he should because everybody loves Pidgeotto because of the anime. But this card is very useful in the uh, current game, you know, because you can search your deck for a card, put it into your hand once per turn, any card. So that's pretty sweet. That's a really good, good thing to be able to do. All right, pack number three. And, you know, in regards to Shrouded Fable, which is the current set, man, that set is tough. And uh, the fact that there's no booster packs, like you have to buy the three pack blisters is kind of annoying. I haven't pulled anything great out of that set yet. Waiting on the ETB to drop in a couple of days from now, on the 23rd, I believe. And, uh... I mean, honestly, there's only a handful of cards from this set that I care about. Like, I want that Persian card. And that's, I mean, honestly, I'd just be happy to have that one card. Then keep the rest. 
All right, pack number four. Gengar again, we got the rare candy. Ooh, we got the full art Paul Dean student. Now there's a couple of different ones of those in this set. I'll have to double check, but I think I may already have this one. I don't believe this card's worth very much either, so no big deal. Still awesome to pull full art cards, because like I said, man, that shrouded table, that dang thing is hard to pull anything out of. Oh, we got another pull in this in this pack. So this is the last pack from the first 10. Fido looks cool. And then of course, Stellar Crown right around the corner here. We got the Great Tusk EX, okay. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I have that one. I also like to keep my reverse hollows and stuff, but dude, look at that Pikachu card, man. That's that's a cute looking Pika. All right, so that was 10 number one. Oh, we didn't even look at the promo card though. The Iron Treads, we gotta pull it out. Ironclad roll is his move. After doing damage, you may discard all future booster energy capsules from the Pokemon. If you do during your opponent's turn, next turn, this Pokemon takes 150 less damage from attacks. That ain't bad. And does 150 damage. Can't complain about that. Yeah, I think he looks totally badass with the black and red as his shiny colors. I'm gonna have some more videos coming out soon that aren't related to like Pokemon and stuff. Um, I've just been kind of taking a break because this week I have been studying for the DMV test because I've actually never had my license, which is pretty insane seeing as I'm 34 years old. Now I've drove plenty of times, just not legally. Um, and you know, when I was younger, I had to get to work, so I had to do what I had to do. Um, but most of the time, it was just like private roads to grocery stores or somewhere that I needed to go. I wasn't just driving around for fun. Here we got the Great Tusk. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at him first this time around. But yeah, so I've been, I've been, you know, practicing the written test and the sign test and uh, getting in some driving practice in my car for tomorrow, trying to get it all done. Not really nervous about it. I'm just more anxious to get it over with so that I can stop riding dirty. <laughs> we got Great Tusk EX here. So his ability, once at the end of your turn, this Pokemon is in the active spot, you must discard the top five cards of your deck. That's whack. But he does 260 damage for four energy. The attacks, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's a fair trade off, I would say. And another five packs of Paul Dean Fates. And go ahead and get this loud ass 10 out the way. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get my license and become a driver. Now, I still get a little, I mean, driving is not that bad. It's just like when other people exist on the road, it can give you anxiety. And I try my best to stay vigilant, not let anything distract me because, you know, you just screw up once, you know, you could hurt somebody, you could hurt yourself. Um, you don't want to deal with all that bullshit, so very nerve wracking. So even when I get my license, I still plan to do very short trips for a long time, even though I'm already kind of comfortable driving. That shiny Starmie looks so sick. Professor, and then we got the Rev Room, which he's got, he's got a pretty cool new card coming out soon. Might actually be in Shrouded Fable. But yeah, so that's, that's pretty much what I've been focusing on this week. It's just trying to mentally prepare and getting all the insurance and stuff set up, which is already done for that. And, you know, 
So the plan tomorrow morning, which will probably be in the past by the time you see this video, I'll be going to the DMV fairly early. We got the Flittle, Charmillion, and then Professor's Research. So another shit pack there. But yeah, I'll be going to the DMV to take the tests, hopefully get all that done in time to go down to the registration office. So my best friend who previously owned the car, still technically does on paper, and I can go to the registration office and switch it over to me so that I am officially the owner of a vehicle and legally licensed to drive. Now you may be asking yourself, how the heck, wow, that's funny to get them back to back like this. You might be asking yourself, how in the heck did I go 34 years of my life without being licensed and driving around? Well, I've done a lot of work from home jobs, but even before that, I always had roommates I moved out of my parents' house at 17 and always worked. But I always had roommates that either worked nearby or I would pay them to take me to work and they didn't seem to mind as much as you would think they would. See, there we go. We got another of that full art. I'm pretty sure that's the exact one. Yep, same exact one. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. Uh, so yeah, I mean like, I just never necessarily needed a car, but I really want one now just because I want to be able to go to the gym on my own because I always had to go with a gym buddy and they would always end up quitting and I don't want to do that because the gym makes me feel so great and obviously I need it, so it's very important to be able to do that, or if I need something from the store, instead of door dashing or Instacarting it for like three times what it's actually worth, I could just drive down the road and get it. And my car has pretty good gas mileage too. That was another shit pack. So that, that tin was super uneventful. But we move on to the final tin with our Charizard EX. And I don't see that we're gonna pull the super rare Charizard card again third time I was actually crapping my pants that I pulled it twice and um, I doubt we'll pull the Mew card those are just super rare cards to get I feel like maybe in an ETB we could I think ETBs have like the best pull rates at least they do for any time that I get something so but man that promo card is just sick of course it has the same moves as the regular Charizard card Stack does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. That has bit me in the butt as uh, an opponent plenty of times. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one in there. Actually, no. Let's take it. Screw it. Give you the full experience. All right. Check that bad boy out. But yeah. I was also stressing about having work off, but that actually ended up being super easy. It's it's kind of funny, you know, because like when you when you have to do something important, like deal with the freaking DMV, which is like the worst. <laughs> Cause I've been there plenty of times for IDs and stuff. Uh if it's almost like the stressing out you do is more in, in anticipation of having to do it. Or like, you know, ooh, I gotta get off of work and stuff. That ended up being super easy. And then it was like, well, I need to do the insurance. And then, well, that was super easy. I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm just stressing when I don't necessarily need to. We got Espathra EX. I'm not familiar with this Pokemon very much. I mean, obviously I've seen and heard the name before, but it is a secret illustration rare, 214 out of 91. So I am not going to be pissed about that. And it's a card that I don't have. So that's always a bonus. So that is the shiny version. You can tell it's shiny because they always put the stars there. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. But then again, if you're watching this, more than likely you're familiar with this uh, Pokemon set or Pokemon in general. Maybe not though. Uh, I know my buddy James, who despises Pokemon, is probably not watching this video. If he is... I'll go ahead and say right now that he's a butthead. And uh, that'll be my way of proving he watched the video if he mentions that. 
He probably will though. He's a good guy. All right. Oh, let's pull the energy out the back. Natu, Paul Dean Student, Cotney, Donfin, Atticus, Charcadet, Hunter, Reverse, and Heat Road on again. Well, shucks. I believe we have three packs left. If they have some more Paul Dean Fates at that store, I'm gonna have to go back there next weekend. I love ripping. You know, because, like I said, the, the Shrouded Fable is just so butt right now. Like, with the pull rates. Hopefully, the ETBs are a lot better. But it would just be nice to pull from this set, because at least most of the time, you get good stuff. Look, I got two of those Starmies. My girlfriend will be excited about that, because I know she'll want that. And Mimikyu. Now, this dude is a goat. I put him, actually, I play the Pokemon TCG online sometimes. And I have a Psychic deck with four of this in there, because... He prevents all damage done to him by EX and Pokemon V. So like, it just, it's like a troll Pokemon. People can't attack you. And then when their whole deck is based around EXs and Vs, you basically win because they either quit or they just, you know, suffer until, until you finally beat them. All right, two packs left. I think there might be something good in this pack. Lapras, so he's got a really cool card coming up in the Stellar Crown set. I'm really excited for that card. Mass Shift, Mass Ball, Lantern, Uncle Curlia, Chimchow, and there we go. So that's the regular Charizard EX. I have a couple of these. Uh, most people do, it's very common. But yeah, see, it does the same attack and has the same ability as the promo card. Still cool though. You know, it's always nice to get Charizard. Charizard is always a pricier card. You know, even this one right here is probably like eight bucks or something, you know, which typically like a regular EX would be like one to four dollars. All right, but we've got one pack left with Pikachu, my man himself, and that's the shiny version of him. He's like barely different. He's just darker. I think that they do a better job with shinies on certain Pokemon than they do others. Can we pull something sweet out of this final pack? That is what we want to know. With Pikachu on the cover, and Pikachu is the first card, it'd be nice to pull a Raichu. A lot of electric in this pack. It's probably not going to be shit in this pack. Sarah Ledge, okay. We got the shiny of him. I didn't have him before. And Magmordar, always cool. And then another Mimikyu. So, and this one's damaged. You see that? I don't know if you can see it right there. There's a little hollow glisten. Yeah. Well, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> uh, but it's cool to get the Sarah Ledge. Just collect all the uh, the shinies. Man, I really wish I could have got the Luxray. That's a black and yellow. Uh, it's sick. But uh, yeah, that's going to conclude the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and chilling with me. Hopefully my babble about the DMV and real world stuff didn't... Uh, deter you from watching but hope to do more pokemon card um videos in the future maybe not necessarily on this channel because i know this channel is more focused on different things but it would be nice to have an alternate channel because i love opening cards and uh, i think this is a more positive type of video uh, maybe not funny or entertaining as much but yeah Got some pretty good pulls. Honestly, the highlight of this was the promo cards. The Pidgeot, of course. Yeah, not too bad. Not too great. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.